Hello students, now in this session I will explain question number 1 and 2 of exercise 4.4. .4. Okay, so let's begin with question number 1. Now in question number 1 we have 7 sums. Okay, so we'll start from sum number A. So what is written in sum number A is that for each sum you have to set up an equation and once you have done that, then you have to solve for the unknown numbers. Okay. Now, sum number A is add 4 to 8 times a number. And then if you do that, you will get 60. So, we are not aware of the unknown number. So, in that case, we have to let the number as x. Fine. Now, we have to set up an equation. That is add 4 to 8 times a number. So, we are adding 8, 4, 2, 8 times the number means 8x and the result we'll get is 60. Okay. Now, we have to make this unknown number independent. So, the first thing that will take is 4. That means we'll take 4 from left hand side to right hand side. Okay. So, it will look like 8x is equals to 60 minus 4. Always remember when you will take any number from left hand side to right hand side or the vice versa that is right hand side to left hand side in that case the number will change the sign okay that is see in this case 4 plus 4 was having positive sign but when i have changed the side then it is now carrying minus sign fine so 60 minus 4 is 56 now again i have to remove this 8 okay so 8x that means 8 into x what is the opposite of into it is division isn't it so x would be equals to 56 divided by 8 okay now if you divide this 56 divided by 8 then you will get the answer as 7 so your required unknown number is 7 okay so this is the solution of sum number a let's move on to sum number b now in question number b we have one fifth of a number minus 4 and that will give the result as 3. So, again, we are not aware of the unknown number. So, in every question, we have to let the number first. Fine. So, let the number be x. Now, let's set up the equation. Now, 1 fifth of x means 1 by 5 into x. And from this, you have to minus 4. And you will get the result as 3. That is equals to 3. Now, what is the meaning of 1 fifth of x? It is 1 by 5 into x. So, if you multiply it, the final product would be x by 5 minus 4 equals to 3 now we'll transpose this minus 4 from left hand side to right hand side so on the third step you will find that now 4 is carrying plus sign so it will look like x plus 5 is equals to 3 plus 4 now 3 plus 4 what is the sum of 3 plus 4 it will be 7 now we have to remove this 5 so to get this value of x so it is in the division position so what is the opposite of division it is multiplication so the value of x would look like 7 into 5 that is the final answer of the unknown number would be x is equals to 35 okay so let's move on to sum number c now question number c now if i take 3 fourth of a number and add 3 to it, I get 21. So again, we'll let the first number as, let the number be x. Now, 3 fourth of a number plus 3 will give you answer as 21. So, 3 fourth of a number is 3 fourth of x plus 3 is equals to 21. 3 fourth of x means 3x by 4 because 3 into x is 3x upon 4 plus 3 is equals to 21. Now, we'll transpose this plus 3 towards the right hand side. It will look like 3x by 4 is equals to 21 minus 3 and now 21 minus 3 is what 18 now we'll take this 4 first 4 is in the division form so when it will go this side it will be multiplied with 18 so 3x is equals to 18 into 4 we'll keep it in this way only now finally we'll bring 3 to, towards right hand side it is in the in uh, multiplication form so if we take this towards right hand side it will be in the division form so x would be equals to 18 into 4 upon 3 now we'll, let's reduce this so the final answer would be x equals to 24 okay so let's move on to sum number d sum number d is when i subtract 11 from twice the number that is from twice the number you have to subtract 11 and when we will do this you will get the result as 15 now let the number be x now from twice the number that is 2x from this you have to subtract 11 be careful with the language okay that is 
from twice the number you have to subtract 11 and then you will get the result as 15. Now on the se second step I will transpose this minus 11 towards right hand side it will become plus so 2x equals to 15 plus 11 15 plus 11 will give the result as 26 now finally we have to remove this 2 and we'll have to take this 2 towards right hand side it is in the multiplication form so it will be divided now so x equals to 26 divided by 2 and when you will reduce this 26 by 2 you will get the answer as 13 that is x equals to 13 okay so this is the solution of sum number d so now let's move on to sum number e yes now this is sum number e now sum number e is munna subtracted thrice the number of notebook he has from 50 again from 50 then she will get 8 now let the number be x now from 50 you have to subtract thrice a number from 50 you have to th subtract thrice a number and you will get the result as 8 okay now the first thing that will take towards that side is 50 so plus 50 when it will go to this side it will become minus 50 and this minus 3x will remain as intact that is minus 3x is equals to 8 minus 50 okay the result will be minus 42 as because 50 is greater okay so 50 is carrying minus sign now if you see both the side are carrying the minus side in this way so you have to cancel this minus sign fine and the next step you have to remove this 3 or you can say you can you have to take this 3 towards right hand side that will give you the answer as 14 as because 42 divided by 3 is equals to 14 so the required unknown number is 14 okay so let's move on to sum number f now sum number f we have Eben Hull thinks of a number fine he thinks of a number she thinks of a number now if she adds 19 to it and divide the sum by 5 she will get 8 again now let the number be x now when she is adding 19 to it and this sum is divided by 5 then the result she is getting as 8 so what is that unknown number so the first thing that you have to transpose towards right hand side is 5 it is in the division form so when you will take to the right hand side it will be multiplied with 8 so it will look like x plus 19 is equals to 8 into 5. 8 into 5 is what? 40. Now what is the next number that you have to transpose? That is 19. Okay. So plus 19 when you take to the right hand side it will become minus. So x is equals to 21. So your required answer is 21. Okay. I hope that sum number g you can all perform it on yourself. So let's move on to sum number 2. Now, sum number two, we have the first sum. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in a class is twice the lowest marks plus seven. The highest score is also given, that is 87. And what is the lowest score? So, see, the highest score is given as 87. We are not aware of the lowest score. That is, let the lowest score be x. Now, they have also given some information how the lowest mark and the highest marks are related. So, highest marks is equals to twice the lowest mark plus 7 okay so this is also a highest mark fine so these two are also the these two are highest marks so we'll compare these two values so to get the value of the lowest mark that is x okay so we'll compare these two values that is 2x plus 7 is equals to 87 because both are highest marks now we'll transpose this plus 7 towards right hand side it will become minus so 2x is equals to 87 minus 7 that will give you 80 and finally you have to transpose this 2 towards right hand side it will give you x equals to 80 by 2 and x would be equals to 40 because when you divide 80 by 2 you get answer as 40 so the your lowest mark is 40 okay so let's move on to sum number b now in sum number b in an isosceles triangle the base angles are equal so we know that in isosceles triangle the two arms are equal isn't it the two arms are equal and also remember that if the two arms are equal the base angles will be also equal why because the angle opposite to the equal sides are equal fine and what are the other things given the vertex vertex angle is 40 so this is a vertex angle which is already given 40 degree so i've written the here see these are all the base angles Fine. these are all the base angles so let each base angle be x so how many base angles are there there are two base angles so i have let each base angle as x now according to the angle sum property of a triangle what we have to do all the sum of all the ang interior angles would be equals to 180 degree isn't it so 40 degree plus x plus x is equals to 180 degree what reason i have written angle sum property fine now if you add this x plus x you, you will get the sum as 2x 
Now what you have to transpose? The first thing that we are transposing is 40 degree. Now it is carrying plus sign so it will now become minus 40 degree. So after subtraction you will get the difference as 140 degree. Now you have to transpose this 2 towards right hand side. Now the value of x would be 140 degree by 2 and x would be equals to 70 degree. So this is your required base angles. Okay students. Now, question number C, again, I'm quite confident that you can all do it on yourself, fine? So that's it for this session. Thank you and take care, stay blessed and God bless you all.